Not a moment of peace in Bakhmut. Ukrainian forces say they remain entrenched in the center of the city, with Wagner mercenaries attacking from three directions. High-rise buildings defended by Ukrainian units, pummeled by Russian artillery and rockets. From the air, new Ukrainian drone footage shows breathtaking destruction. Smoke rises from the rubble, the ground littered with debris and the bodies of fallen soldiers. The Wagner Group is thought to have lost thousands of fighters in the battle for Bakhmut, a city that's become a test of strength for both sides. The Ukrainians claim to have stabilized the situation and say there's even been a slight fall in the number of Russian attacks. The commander of Ukrainian ground forces, Alexander Sirsky, back in the city himself saying, the most intense phase of the battle for Bakhmut is underway. The enemy is suffering significant losses, but continues to conduct offensive actions. <laughs> That's not how Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin sees it. He was in Bakhmut on a dawn patrol with his fighters. CNN geolocated this video showing Wagner control in southern neighborhoods. One fighter says the Ukrainians are less than 200 meters away and that every building is a fortress. As they walk through the wreckage, Prigozhin says he wants to learn how Wagner can do things better and faster. Hundreds of miles away in southern Russia, row upon row of what appear to be freshly dug graves. This is a Wagner cemetery in Krasnodar. A sobbing woman says the graves are all from late last year and early this year of Wagner fighters of all ages. There's a constant stream of funerals here, but despite heavy losses on the battlefield, the Russians still have immense firepower used daily against Ukrainian towns and cities. Ukrainian officials say a pair of missiles struck Slavyansk early Monday, killing at least two people and injuring dozens more. But Ukraine also strikes deep behind the front lines. A mysterious explosion in the Russian-occupied city of Melitopol. And in the Russian-occupied city of Mariupol, what Russian state media describes as an assassination attempt Monday, blowing up the car of the Russian-appointed police chief. From Ukrainian-controlled territory, the city's mayor in exile called it a Ukrainian resistance attack, carried out barely a week after Russian President Vladimir Putin made a show of visiting Mariupol, a city Moscow captured and now claims for itself.